Let's get these spark plugs out of here. All right, first we're gonna get these spark plugs out. Take the cover off, no big deal. Get that back in there so no junk gets in there. All right, essentially we're gonna remove these coil packs and then the plugs. Start with the connectors. Pretty easy, just be careful. You know, remember these are plastic and plastic doesn't age very well. It's brittle and can crack, so you want to be really careful and not make a new issue out of a simple maintenance item. These should just pop out. What I would do here at this time is just take a look at the seals, you know, make sure they're not cracked or anything like that you're looking for cracking here this all looks really good no signs of water or anything like that we'll just lay these up here and get the first plug out see if this is long enough i'm gonna put an extension on there i got this really cool i think this is gear wrench yeah gear wrench it's got a neodymium magnet on the inside instead of those rubber O-rings. You don't want to mess with those. These are awesome. You can articulate and it'll hold on to the spark plug with no problem. Here's an example of the one I just took out. These have 130 something thousand miles, so it looks like a nice clean burn. Let's see if I can get closer here. Focus. Yeah, not too bad. Another thing I'm looking at here is just to make sure it's the right plug. If it's the same brand, you could just look at the part numbers, uh, but you can tell it looks the right size and everything like that. And then I'm also making sure that uh, what came out has these old bullets on here. Sometimes these get unthreaded, so you want to make sure, one, that it came out and two, whether it needs it, <laughs> in this case, uh, both are good, so. All right, another thing you'll wanna do here is just make sure you check the gap. You wanna be careful on these iridium plugs. You don't wanna like really touch the electrode. So I just do a real basic check. So it's supposed to be 43 thousandths. You can see it's sort of right in that area. So that's all I'm doing is just checking to make sure it didn't get damaged at the manufacturer or anything like that. And sometimes they get dropped and it'd be way off, so. I already checked all these other ones and they're good. So we'll go ahead and install the new ones. All right, so what I'll do here is just lightly thread it in by hand. You wanna be really careful when you do this. You don't wanna cross thread anything. Once it's started, it's fine. These have pretty long threads, so it takes a little bit. And all I'm wanting to do is get these seated so nothing gets in the cylinder holes and then I'll go back and torque them all at the same time to spec. And I'll let you know what that is. I have the manual here out, so. All right, that's hand tight. And you wanna kinda of have a system so you understand what's been done, what's not been done. I'm leaving the coil packs up here, which tells me there's a spark plug in there, but I haven't put the packs back on. One thing I did off camera is I uh, have been wanting to use this new boroscope Oops, hold on. Something to be aware of. That came off. Let's make sure I get that back on. I get this back on here. It looks like it just popped off. Perfect. Okay, what I was saying was, is off camera I was checking out a new boroscope that I bought, and I wanted to see if I can take a look at the cylinders and the pistons just to see if there was, you know, a lot of a carbon buildup or see what the condition of the cylinder walls looked like. This, uh, this particular year range of Camrys had an oil consumption issue. So I thought it'd be good just to take a quick look. I boroscoped uh, one and two, and I'll try to put some of the footage up here uh, as I'm talking, but I don't know, it was kind of hard to see. I don't, think the, I don't think the pistons were down enough to look at the wall and this particular boroscope doesn't have a side camera, so 
it was sort of hard, but at least one thing I did see is that the top of the cylinders didn't look like there was really much carbon or anything or any like red flags or anything like that. All right, let's see what this looks like here. Pretty similar to the other one. So I'm just laying them all out on the workbench to take a look. All right, here we are top side. Got my spark plug wrench. Uh, I need to get the torque spec. I have my little, this is a smaller torque wrench. It's much more precise than my larger digital one that I normally use for like wheel lugs and whatnot. But let's see here. So spark plugs, four cylinder, 168 inch pounds. So let me see if I can, uh, so this one is one of those. Okay, you got, all right, you got Newton meters on that side and then inch pounds on this side. So let me set that real quick. You can see it all right currently at 160 we'll go to 168 here all right there we go all right now you got to be careful with this type of torque wrench because it doesn't have an audible click it more has a skip that you feel in your hands there we go I know it seems like I'm doing it a lot, but it's a very small torque wrench. All right. There we go. All right, one thing I should have done when the spark plugs uh, the old ones were in there was blow everything out. I'm going to do that now because there was some crud in there I saw with the boroscope and the top two. Put these coil packs back on. They only line up one way because of the bolt holes, so it's not that hard. Gotta catch stuff like that. Probably a torque setting for this, but I'm not too worried about it. I'm just gonna... It is plastic, you wanna be careful. But I'm not wailing it here and snug up the connectors. You could put dielectric grease on here, but you know what? Everything was working fine. I'm just gonna, these things look really clean on the inside, so I'm just gonna keep it how it was. Oh no. The clip came off. This, this cylinder's a little bit of a pain. I'm not sure if that's going to be a problem or not, to be honest. Hmm. Put the cover back on. I think we're done. I'll uh, start it up and take it for a test drive.